from 1991. It's a newspaper article. And uh, it's like, wow. Th okay, it's 1991. That's not that long ago. But but for those who may not be able to read this small print, uh, it says Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamir, recalling his days as a guerrilla commander, said yesterday that Jews were justified in using terror terrorism to win statehood, but that the Palestinians are not. Personal terrorism, quote, is, is a way of fighting that is acceptable under certain conditions and by certain movements, said Shamir. The Jews, stateless and uh, persecuted, had no choice, he said, but, to, <clears throat> but the Palestinians are, quote, fighting for land that's not theirs. This is the land of the people of Israel, end quote. Shamir was interviewed by Army Radio on the 50th anniversary of the founding of Lehi, the, uh, the group in which Shamir fought against British rule in Palestine in the 1940s. So here's this guy that fought against the British mm -hmm. with, using lots of terrorism opportunities there, claims that, no, it's the Israel's land, so it's okay for them to use terrorism. This is up. This was at the time publicized. Yeah, it also just also shows, though, how they are driven by this entitlement. Uh, they believe, uh, you know, essentially a magical real estate agent in the sky 2,500 years ago wrote in a book that this land is theirs, and so so be it. And that gives them carte blanche. That gives them the right to commit terror. Their terror is justified. Their terror is holy, right? Their terror is righteous. Um, and the, the the what I worry about with Israel, and we've seen this from commentary coming from Israelis, you know, especially say Ronan Barr, the head of Shin Bet, who wrote this in a letter about the danger of Jewish terror. Uh, so we saw this week several hundred thousand people on the streets protesting against Netanyahu, demanding a ceasefire deal, not on the side of the Palestinians. They want the ethnic cleansing and genocide to go on. They just want their people back. You know, I can't emphasize that enough, right? But, uh, you know, what's also true is that they say there are, say there are three quarters of a million people on the streets protesting. There are three quarters of a million armed Jewish settlers who see those people as traitors, who see those people as betraying their cause, betraying their divine right to the land by conceding anything that remotely resembles Aqui's essence to the enemy, to the other, right? And, and that's what you see in Israel is this tension between the country, this 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 split that has is fracturing across multiple lines. Uh, but certainly one of the things that's true, it, 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 I think we're being misinformed here in the U.S. at the political state of Benjamin Netanyahu. He is, if, 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 if most recent polling I saw, which was a couple months ago, so maybe it's changed, but he is the most popular politician in Israel. 